Yay! Hi, guys! <laughs> I'm just gonna get this started because I was attempting to make this a short video and then I realized it's a 50 question tag. Let's jump right into it. Hi, everyone. I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads. And I just have to say that ever since I posted that first 7 on Sunday video, I got a quite a bit of new subscribers, at least for my very small channel. So I thought I should probably do a video kind of like so people can get a feel for me because I feel a lot of people subscribe because of that video. And Emily Fox uploaded a rapid fire 50 bookish questions tag. And I was like, what perfect timing. So thank you, Emily. Even though we don't agree on Dune or Magic for Liars, but that's okay, we can still be friends. So I have the questions right here and I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna try to make them actually like rapid fire like I haven't prepared anything I only watched like the first few minutes of Emily's video. So let's get going number one hardback or paperback 100% paperback number two dust jacket off or on Who reads with the dust jacket on clearly dust jacket off number three secondhand or new copies? I prefer secondhand, but I live in Spain So sometimes secondhand is actually more expensive than new because I read in English number four audiobooks or not Audiobooks. Are there still people? I don't understand the people out there that still hate on audiobooks. Like Emily said, there are plenty of studies that prove that audiobook reading is the same as like eye reading, eyeball reading, whatever. So if you're an audiobook hater, I'm sorry, BB, but audiobooks all the way. Number five, do you cover by? Doesn't everyone cover by? Number, <coughs> Number six, what's a good book with a bad cover? With a bad cup. You know what? I'm gonna go with my first instinct on this one and I'm gonna go with Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I know a lot of people don't agree with me that's a good book, but I dig. Alright, and what's a bad book with a good cover? Oh. oh, this is hard. Obviously, I don't have any on my shelves. Um, for me, for my personal enjoyment, I didn't enjoy. The Phantom of the Opera, but I'm obsessed with this cover of it, so there you go. First book you ever read. I know this can't possibly mean as a child because I don't know, but the first book I actually remember reading and the first book that got me into reading is Animorphs book one. Last book you finished. I'm in a really bad reading slump right now, so I think the last book of finish was Dragon's Code by Gigi McCaffrey. Last series you finished. Holy shit, I don't, I'm very bad at finishing series. I'm like looking around my shelves. What's the last series I finished? Also, I don't like reading series, so. I think the last series I finished is The Search for One Less Series by Tony DiTerlizzi, and that was last year. So, I haven't finished any series this year. In fact, I've started quite a few. The last book you bought is The Tenth Girl. I don't remember the author, and I'm not gonna go get it because it's over there, so. Here you go, pretty picture. What's your favorite genre? Sci-fi. What's your favorite book in that genre? Dune. What genre do you never reach for? YA contemporary. Unless I get tricked into it. Do you read poetry? Yes, I do. Popular science? Does it mean popular... Does it mean popular science fiction? I, I don't know. I don't know. Middle grade? Yes, I do read middle grade. Do you have a book... Do you have book box subscription? <coughs> do you have... Book box subscriptions. I don't have book box subscriptions, but I am subscribed to these lovely books, which is every month I get two of these lovely editions of classic books written about women by women, or there are some male authors, but so this is called RBA, and they are like a newspaper subscription, and I get two of these every month, and I love them. What's your favorite bookish item? I would say the book sleeve that Elfie made and that I got as a rep for her like uh, her enchanted bookstore Etsy shop that would be my favorite because Elfie made it so what's your current bookmark? Um I don't have it, but it's actually another bookmark that Elfie made she makes beautiful bookmarks But honestly, I'm not fussy about bookmarks. I've literally I dog ear my books sometimes I know Worst human ever, but I'll literally stick anything in there to save space. What's the strangest optic you used as the bookmark? Um, I want to say something like my glasses. That's I probably used my glasses. Book jackets or not? Nah. Who's your fictional boyfriend? 
Um, I'm married, so that would be polygamy, and I'm not into that. But uh, I don't think I have a, like I used to before, like ship myself with someone. But I don't anymore. Do I? No, because all the all the guys. Yeah. Victor Vale. I'm gonna go with Victor Vale. I love Victor Vale. Favorite book couple. Again, I'm not big into like first. I'm not big into romance or anything like that in my books. And who would be my OTP? You know what? We're gonna go with Alex Claremont Diaz and Henry Windsor. For somebody that doesn't read YA contemporary romances, I really enjoyed that one. Favorite book villain? Victor Vale. I know he's not technically a villain, but he's the villain in my heart. Number 26. Favorite book adventure? I'm not big into adventure books. You know what? I'm gonna go with uh, Rick Riordan's The Olympians Adventure. I don't know. That's that's what first came to my mind. Series. Trilogies or standalones? Standalones! Please give me all the standalones. I can't keep reading series. Mixed media books or paragraphs? Um, I enjoy a good mixed media book, but I'm definitely gonna go with paragraph. What's your favorite book adaptation? So does this mean book, book to movie adaptation? Because if that's the case, Solaris, uh, the 2002 version. Here's the, the beautiful, beautiful poster for it. Film adaptations or TV adaptations? Film adaptations, I, 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 mm, yeah, film adaptations, that was my first thought. What book needs an adaptation? There are so many books that need adaptations, you can't, I don't, mm, mm. But I always dreamed of a monstermologist adaptation because I think at this point, maybe Adam Driver, could play Pelinor Wathrop, that would be cool. Originally, I thought Johnny Depp could play him. Favorite book world? The Magicians by Lev Grossman. Favorite writing style? What does that mean? What does that even mean? Prose? Or I don't know, like, yeah. I, I don't know. What's a book that you love that people don't know about? Girl, I have a whole video about that, so I'll link it up in the cards. I think the cards are up here. Well, yeah, the card. No, I don't know. Whatever, wherever the card is, is, I have an entire video about books that I love and that you people don't know about and that we need to, you need to read them so I can talk to people about them. So that's my answer for that. What's a popular book that you hated? <laughs> um, <laughs> really? I don't, I, I hate is a, a the, Lovely War by Julie Berry, but I honestly most, I, I don't hate, but I don't like a lot of popular books. Favorite childhood reads, Animorphs by K.A. Applegate. What's a book that changed your life? Um, El Eterno Oscuro by Miguel Angel Yalo. And I'm sorry, it doesn't have an English translation. I, I, let's think about one that does have an English translation, but that The Foundation by Isaac Asimov because it was the first time that I actually read hard sci-fi and I think that that opened the doors to read a lot more sci-fi. What book did you hate at school? Now this, I actually also answered it already for another video, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. You'll see why in that video. Do you donate books all the time? I live Literally, there are tiny houses that are bigger than my house, okay? So, I don't have space. These are, this is the only place I have to put books, so I donate books all the time. If I read it and I didn't like it, or I liked it, but I'm not gonna reread it, I donate it. What's your favorite reading snack? I don't snack while I read. Please show me the way how to do this, because I'm like snacking, and I'm a messy eater, and I'm like snacking, and then I'm touching the pages, and it just gets everywhere. So I don't snack while I read. What's your favorite reading position? Laying in my bed. That's my favorite position for everything. Get your mind out of the gutter. Natural light or lamp light? Natural light. And just so we're clear, it's currently 8 p.m. where I am. And we still got this natural light. Outside or inside? Inside, I've got allergies. Breaking the cover or keeping it smooth? I think this means breaking the spine. Because I'm not gonna break my book's cover. But honestly, I don't care. I really don't care about keeping my books in pristine condition. If the book is gonna be well loved and well read. I I don't care. Do you read in other languages? Yes I do. I can read 
fluently in Spanish and French. What book series do you want to finish this year? <laughs> I want to finish all the series, but the first one that came to mind was The Murder Bot by Martha Wells because um, The Murder Bot is called Murder Bot series. I don't think it's finished, but I want to catch up with it. And yeah, that's the first one that came to mind. So that's what we're sticking with. 48. What book release are you most excited about right now? I actually also answered this for another video, but I don't keep up with book releases. I'm not that person, but I guess the one that I would be most excited about is the next book in the Brandon Sanderson Skyward series because I want to finish that one. But I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I'm probably going to wait until it's cheaper to buy it. Do you have a favorite book influencer? Now this is funny because I would say it would be the big influencer that I love the most is books with Emily Fox, which is funny because we are completely opposites when it comes to reading. She hated Dune. I love Dune. She hated Magic for Liars. I love Magic for Liars. So it's really funny because we don't have the same taste in books, but I still really enjoy her videos. And 50, do you have a channel, blog, or social media feed? Well, you're watching this on my channel, so welcome to my channel, but my other feeds are always linked down below. I'm most active on Twitter because your girl don't know how to take book pictures, okay? The ones I take, if you if you see my Instagram, it's like, it's like a little, little kid could do it. So that's it. Those are the 50 bookish questions, the 50 book question tag, and well, thank you so much for watching it. Thank you so much for subscribing. Just as a reminder, I post videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with some videos peppered in throughout the week. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. And I'm gonna go because I managed to keep the filming time under 20 minutes. And if I make an outro that is like five minutes long, that's gonna go down the drain. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys. And yes, I like to show when I click on this thing because it reminds me of the olden booktube days, not booktube, well YouTube days when people had to manually click off. So I leave that in because I want to. <laughs>